So what I'm going to do in this video is to generate cars with different random colors when using the traffic library in AnyLogic. So the first thing here, as always, is to create a project. The name doesn't matter. So let's take a road from the road traffic library and put it in the canvas. The scale doesn't matter, but let's make it a little bit longer so we have space to see the cars moving. Then we take a source to generate cars and we take a car move to create the movement on the road and we will add a sync to finish the process, a very simple model. Now let's click on the source to tell the model where the cars will appear, which is in the only road we have. Now let's tell the model where the cars are going to move, which is at the end of the only road we have, end of forward line. Now everything is ready and we can run the model. So when we run this model, we'll see cars of different colors anyways because it's the default agent. And you can see here that it's not very nice when you want to create a realistic model, but if it's enough for you, then go for it. So let's add some cars now. Uh, we use the car type and move to the canvas. We use the 3D model, a car obviously, and we'll add a parameter here. Let's name it color and the type will be an int. So there is this great function that generates random integers numbers that we will use from 0 to 3 to have four possible options. And now we can click the car and we'll define if if the car is visible or not according to the value of the parameter color. So this car will only be visible if color equals zero. So it's just a bit of code to have all this defined. Now let's make three copies of this car. Uh, one, and let's do another one. And I like to move all the cars close to each other, but it's not really necessary. So select one of the cars and choose your favorite color from the panel. And this car will be visible when color equals to one. We'll do the same thing with the other cars. So this one will be visible when color equals two. And the other car will be visible when color equals three. And you can choose any color. And then we move all the cars to the center. So I think you understood the picture now. All the cars will be generated when they enter the road, but only one will be visible on the animation. So let's change the car type into the source block. And let's run the model to see what happens. And there we go. We have cars of different colors. So if it's this is not good enough. We want to see how it looks in 3D, right? So let's add a camera. And let's move it a little bit so we can see the road. And we need to add a 3D window so I have a view of everything. And we can run the simulation again. So this, this is not the most beautiful thing we can do, but you can see how the cars have different colors. They look nice in 3D. And this is what we wanted, right? So everything good. So now we can go back to the car agent and we'll add two new things, a lorry and a track because who doesn't like trucks? So, so it, it means that you can do this not only with colors, but only with other types. So let's copy the code in here, and we'll add it to the lorry. And the lorry will be visible when color equals four. And the track will be visible when color equals five. So there you go. So we have to change, uh, so we move everything to the middle and we change the color so it goes from zero to five. 
and we run the model again. We have to wait a little bit. You know, any logic doesn't work instantaneously. And let's see what happens. So yeah, now you have trucks, cars, everything. So you added variety into your model. So this may not be the optimal way of doing this, and it's more efficient to create a different agent for each type of vehicle and have agents randomly generated. But who cares? This works for small models. It's a solution. And there you go. Thanks for watching.